So take a moment, you guys know I like to move around a little bit, stretch a little bit before settling in. So any little stretches, little movements that are calling to you, go ahead and just take them. So immediately, just noticing how your physical body feels. And then as you're ready, settle into stillness. Close your eyes. Spine long. Back of your neck long. Face nice and soft. Pleasant. And arms either resting, hands on your thighs, your knees. Or if you'd like, hands can come to your heart, or even one hand to your heart space, one hand to your belly. So whatever just feels kind of resonant for you this morning. And then start to notice your breath as it rises and falls within you. Next time you breathe in very intentionally inhale as big as you can and then hold at the very very top see if you can take just one more little sip and big open mouth sigh ah, let it go let's do that two more times feel so good inhale fill up pause at the top hold in fullness Maybe one more little sip and sigh it out. Let it go. And then last one. So biggest inhale you've taken all morning. Pause at the top. Hold. Sip in that little bit more. And then open mouth sigh. Let it go. Ha. Good, you guys, ujjayi breath now. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. Nice work. So as you drop into this breath, start to add some movement. And that movement can start from your seat. So maybe you just move your head, your shoulders, maybe you start to move your torso around. Maybe you start to explore movement with your arms. Lots of ways to move from our seat. Eventually, so no great big rush, but whenever you're ready, when you feel ready to transition, we'll meet on our hands and our knees, doing pretty much the same thing, just intuitive movement. If you take class with me a lot, which most of you guys do, you know that I love to start practice this way. Just moving intuitively. I think we don't do this type of thing enough. I think we should do this every single morning when we get out of bed. <laughs> so just move your body, feel into your spine, into your shoulders, into your hips. We should do it every morning before we get out of bed and every night before we go to sleep. <laughs> I seriously bet if our whole entire world did that, the world would be a different place. <laughs> All right. So just feeling whatever there is to feel, noticing whatever there is to notice. Be guided by your breath. If you're not already on hands and knees, transition there now. And then from hands and knees, I would say give yourself about three to five rounds. But whenever you're ready, we'll take it back to our downward facing dog. So down dog in your own time and you can get there in your own way. Big, spacious breaths, ujjayi, so that diaphragmatic breath. Once you're back in down dog, same thing, just kind of explore, pedal out your heels, walk it out, shift your weight from side to side, shake your head yes or no. So anything that 
calls to you. If you want to lift one leg up and stretch and then the other leg, go for it. So in this down dog, lots of length from your fingertips all the way up to your sit bones. Lots of length in your side bodies. And then make sure in down dog, you feel strong. There's strength work happening. Sometimes teachers say down dog should be a resting pose. And while I don't think it should be a pose that you're straining in the whole time or anything like that, I would say it's definitely not what I would call a resting pose. There's work happening. You're spreading your fingers. You're using the strength in your forearms and your shoulders. You're using the strength in your core to lift your hips high. So soften around the pose, find a sweetness to the pose, find a sustainable pose. So maybe that means bending your knees a little bit more. But we don't need to feel like we're completely resting here. Yes, you should be able to breathe slow and steady. Take one more big inhale into your dog pose. And then as you exhale, look to the top of your yoga mat and however you want to get there, forward fold, feet to the top of your mat. Let's be here for a moment, forward fold, bend your knees a little or a lot, bring your weight slightly forward so heels are really light, lift them up for a second if you want, and then just set them back down really, really lightly, really gently. Keep most of your weight in the front half of your feet and see if you can lift your butt up higher by pressing back through the tops of your thighs just a little bit more. Make sure you're not rolling onto the outer edges of your feet. Relax your neck. If it would be nice, maybe ragdoll, maybe hands behind your head. Perhaps you keep your fingertips down and walk your hands to one side just a little bit and then the other. So just be in your forward fold and simply breathe, feel, observe, notice. All right, friends, let's come to a halfway lift. So next time you breathe in, find that spinal extension. Get all the rounding out of your back. So stick your butt out behind you and then reach forward through the top of your head. Now listen, this is gonna be a little bit funky. I just want you to bend your knees, sit your butt back, lift your heart, chair pose. So all of a sudden, your upper body's lifted, your heart's lifted, you're looking forward. Just for fun, press your hands into the tops of your thighs and use that to lengthen your spine more. So inhale here, chair pose, hands press into the tops of your thighs. Keep your hands pressing into the tops of your thighs. Exhale, halfway lift. So you're just tilting it. Stick your butt out, crown of your head forward. Do that again, inhale, chair, sit back. Exhale. Halfway lift. Last time, inhale, chair. Sit back, bend your knees, lift your heart, lengthen your spine, and exhale. Just tilt it forward, crown of your head forward. Press your thighs back. Good. Inhale, chair. And then this time, exhale, forward fold. Let it all go. Roll up one vertebra at a time, so let your head and your arms hang heavy. Nice and slow. When you get to the very, very top, you're standing, head stack, shoulders roll back and down. So stand here in Tadasana, mountain pose. Arms by your sides, palms open, heart open, feet rooted. Nice and neutral through your pelvis and your spine. So just stand with intention and attention. Take a great big inhale, hold. Exhale, open mouth side. Ah. Ujjayi breath. Inhale, reach up, high mountain. Exhale, slow swan dive. So all the way down, traction it out. Inhale, halfway lift. How much length can you create? Exhale, bow and fold. 
Press into your feet, reverse swan dive. So lead with your heart to rise. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, just like that, high mountain. Inhale. Exhale, slow dive. Make it feel good. So feel your body move through space with your in breath. Lift up halfway. How much length can you create? Exhale, let it go. Press into your feet, lead with your heart, and rise up. Inhale, stretch tall. Hands to your heart center, exhale. All right, side body stretch, breathe in and reach up. We did this last week. Cross your wrists, turn your palms to face each other, like you're giving yourself a high five above your head, and then squeeze your biceps next to your ears. Get as tall as you can, press your palms together, and feel your arms get strong. Take one more in breath. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. So upper body goes right, hips go left. Most of your weight is now in your left foot. Press your palms together. See if you can pull your left shoulder slightly back and down, just a little tiny bit. Take one more round. Take a really inhale back through center. Just switch the cross of your arm. So opposite arm is in front. And then exhale, other side. Hips go right, upper body goes left. Pull your right shoulder back and down. Most of your weight is in your right foot. And then where'd your breath go? Make it bigger, more spacious. Last round here. Inhale back up. Exhale, release your arms. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Shoulders roll back and down. Shoulder blades hug your spine. And then start to reach your hands back away from your body. So working the opening in the front of your shoulders. Stay here or add just a little baby back bend. So press your hips slightly forward. Lift your heart. Lift your gaze. Take one more big inhale. Keep your hands clasped, slow dive, take it all the way down, forward fold, fingers are still interlaced. Take about three breaths with your hands clasped here. So let your neck relax, bend your knees a little or a lot. Work that opening in the front of your shoulders. See if you can lift your knuckles higher. Try not to lock out your elbows. So if it looks like your arms are completely straight, totally fine as long as it feels like to you that you've got a little bend in your elbows take one more big inhale exhale hands to your low back release your clasp let your arms hang for a moment let them dangle shake them out next time you inhale halfway lift and exhale plant your hands step back to plank pose pause in your plank Today, we're gonna to move right into a side plank, Vashistasana. So right hand is your base, roll onto the baby toe, edge of your right foot, left arm to the sky. You can always modify by bringing your right knee down or bringing your right forearm down if you wanna take care of your wrist a little bit. Option to stretch your left arm towards the top edge of your mat and then possibly float your left leg up. Lift your hips as high as you can. Take two more rounds of breath, lengthen through your left side. So the more you can lift your hips, the more that will take weight out of your wrists and your shoulders, so it'll actually get easier. Take one more big in breath. Just gotta figure out how to work those strong muscles. Exhale, come back through center, switch to the other side. So going right over to our left side. Outer edge of left foot or left knee can come down to modify right arm to the sky. Lift your hips, so use those strong obliques, those side abdominals. Reach your right arm forward, perhaps, lengthen through your right side, and then possibly right leg floats up. Keep lifting your hips, soften your face. By that little bit of sweetness, this is supposed to be a resting pose, you guys. <laughs> Joking. Take one last big inhale. Exhale, plank or modify plank. Big inhale at the top, exhale all the way to your belly. Good work, baby cobra to begin. So start nice and low. 
Lift just using the strength in your back body. Roll your shoulders back and down and point the tips of your elbows straight back behind you. So hands on the ground, spread your fingers. Rather than pushing down, pull back with your hands. Press your pelvis down, press your toenails down. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Spider-Man, my baby, bring your hands out wide, lift to fingertips, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, through center, heart lifts. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center, lift your heart. And release it, exhale. Hands come to frame your mid ribs, however you want to transition, downward facing dog. Take it back. Big spacious breaths, ujjayi. Good, you guys. Inhale, take your right leg to the sky. So pause here for a moment in your three-legged dog, hips square, inner thighs face each other. Press down through both hands, through all of your fingertips. Press up through your right foot, so through your heel, or you can reach through your toes. Hips are square, so if you need to bend your left knee a lot, totally fine. Lift up from your belly button, and then lengthen just a little bit more. Take one more inhale, push the ground away. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So curl in, shoulders over wrists. Stay here as you breathe in. Again, push the ground away. Lift through your waistline. Exhale, step your right foot forward, low lunge. Then we'll rise up, crescent lunge. Front knee over front ankle. Rise as you're ready. Settle in. Find your breath. So hips square, right hip pulls back, left hip pulls forward. That's where you get the stability. Little tone in your low abdominals. Lift through your heart. Soften your face. See if you can feel as much strength in your back leg as you feel in your front leg. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down to your front thigh. So kind of lean forward and then press into your front thigh a lot, lengthen your spine. As you lengthen your spine, draw your belly button in and up. So stay connected to your center. Now from here, we're gonna lean forward even more, float your back foot off the ground. Variation of warrior three. Stay here if you want to, or one or both arms can reach forward. If you think about what we're doing here, you guys, all it really is, is a three-legged down dog, but you're balancing on one foot, so we just tipped it on its side. Lengthen your spine, press with your left leg, wherever you're at, your expression, one more round. We're gonna land back in crescent lunge, so as soft as you can, end of your exhale, step back, arms reach up, breathe in. Exhale, bring your hands down. Walk your hands over to the left side of your yoga mat. Parallel your feet, straighten out your legs. So wide-legged straddle position with your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Now, halfway lift, bring your hands to your hips, root through your feet, rise all the way up. So now you're standing in a wide-legged straddle. Pivot your heels in, toes out. You can adjust your legs further or closer together if you need to. Bend your knees. Sit down into a wide-legged squat. You want your knees right over your ankles. So not like this, and not like this. Just right above. All right. So sit low. Press into the outer edges of your feet, and imagine you want to press your knees back behind you. Bring your hands to the tops of your thighs. Take an inhale and think of a standing cow pose. So lift your chest, arch your back. Exhale, twist towards the back of your yoga mat and see if you can press your knees open even wider, sit even lower in your legs. Press into the outer edges of your feet, maybe even pick up your toes. Take one more breath here. 
Inhale through center, lift your heart, exhale, twist forward. Nice and deep in your legs, press your knees open, last round. Good job, inhale, come back to center, and then just stay here for a moment and kind of sway it side to side. All right, this is a little bit funky. So you're gonna stay in your squat position and just bring your hands to the ground in front of you. Now pivot from your squat position, pivot your toes forward so your feet are parallel. And you might need to adjust your stance, widen it or shorten it a little bit. So all 10 toes face forward. Basically what we're doing now, you guys, think about it, it's a happy baby pose, but we're standing on our feet. Bring your forearms to press into the fronts of your shins. Forearms to the fronts of your shins, just like this. Take an inhale, press your forearms into your shins, lengthen your spine. And then listen as you exhale, grab hold of your ankles, lift your butt up, reach the crown of your head towards the ground, work into your hold. Back and forth, inhale, press into your shins as you bend your knees, spine parallel to the ground. Exhale, work your fold, grab hold of your ankles. Try to keep your feet parallel as much as possible. Inhale, squat, spine long, just like a happy baby. Exhale, straighten your legs, work your fold. Couple more rounds, go at your own pace. Press your forearms into your shins, shins into forearms. Each time you lift your butt up and straighten your legs, Draw navel to spine, empty all the way out. Next time you find yourself in your wide-legged straddle, that wide-legged fold, stay there. If you want to widen your stance just a little bit, do so. Take about two more breaths in your wide-legged forward fold. All right, friends, halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground, breathe in. And then as you exhale, walk your hands to the top of your mat, rotate your toes to face forward, back to a low lunge, three-legged down dog. So take your right leg all the way back and up, open up your right hip, bend your right knee. Squeeze your outer right butt cheek. Press down firmly through both hands. All 10 fingertips, especially thumbs and index. See if you can lift your right knee a little higher. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, take it back up, stretch. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, or as high as you can get, so maybe even your armpit. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, listen, three-legged plank pose, so rock forward, lower down, modify if you want to. Inhale, start with a baby cobra, stay low, hold here for just a moment. So point your elbow tips back, pull back with your hands, press through your toenails, your shoelaces, press through your pelvis, one more in-breath. Exhale, release. Spider-Man, hands out wide, inhale, chest lifts. Twist to your right, exhale. Inhale, lift your heart, come through center. Other side, twist left, exhale. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, let it go. Bring your hands to frame your mid-ribs, downward facing dog. So walk it out, return to your breath, fire it up again. All right, from your down dog, next inhalation, left leg to the sky, stretch it out, lengthen it out. 
Press down through your hands, up through your left foot, hip stays square. Good, you guys. So bend your right knee if you need to. Lift from your center, take one more in breath. Exhale, knee to your nose, so forward towards the plank position as you curl in. Stay here, breathe in, and see if you can lift higher through your waistline, press the earth away. Exhale, step your left foot through, low lunge. And then rise as you're ready, crescent lunge. All right, front knee over front ankle, high on the ball of your back foot. Hug in with your inner thighs to stabilize. Your back leg is just as strong and powerful as your front leg. Feel your breath, that energy, that prana moving through you. Lengthen your side bodies, lift your heart, breathe deeper. Take one last inhale. Exhale, hands to your front thigh, lean forward a bit, lengthen your spine. So notice if your left hip just kind of shot out to the left, hug in with your left inner thigh. It's like you're kind of wrapping that left butt cheek underneath you. Draw your belly button in and up. So even as you lengthen your spine, you're pulling your belly button back. See if you can lean forward even more, float your back foot off the ground, warrior three variation. Back leg is strong. So rather than feeling like your back leg weighs a million pounds and you're trying to hold it up, let it do the work for you. Press back with your back foot like you're stomping in on an invisible wall. Hips are square, bend your left knee if you need to. Bend it a lot if you need to. Possibly arms, one or both, go forward. Last couple breaths. Use your core, navel to spine. All it is is a three-legged down dog tipped on its side. All right, friends, let's land in our crescent lunge softly. Right foot steps back, reach up. Breathe in. Exhale, hands come down. Walk your hands to the right side of your mat. This time, parallel your feet, straighten out your legs. Okie dokie. I'm going to turn and face you just so you can see me better on this side. Inhale to a halfway lift, hands to hips just like we did before, and then all the way up, rise. Okay, heels in, toes out. Adjust your stance if you need to, bend your knees. You want your knees right over your ankles. Sit as low as you can, hands to thighs. Start with a little sway. Weight as much as possible in your heels. So you can see as I sway, I can even pick up my toes. Knees wide, sit low, breathe. All right, let's find stillness. Reach your arms out to both sides. We're gonna move through some cat cow variations. So inhale, lift your heart, open. And then as you exhale round, bring the backs of your hands together out in front of you, curl in. Try to keep your legs the same. Move from your torso, inhale, open. Exhale round, there's gonna be a little bit of movement through your pelvis, but stay in your legs, inhale, open. Exhale round, move with your breath, couple more. Make that movement in your upper body, in your spine, as big and as exaggerated as possible. Stay in your legs. Finish the round you're on. And then reach your arms out. Straighten your legs. Parallel your feet. Bring your arms behind your back. I'll switch back so I'm on your side again. Arms behind you, interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down. Shoulder blades hug your spine. See if you can start to reach your hands back. Possibly a little baby back bend. As you press your hips forward, imagine your feet are magnetized. Squeeze them towards each other. One more in breath. Exhale, slow dive. Hinge at your hips. Wide-legged fold with your fingers interlaced. 
See if you can take at least two rounds with your fingers interlaced and then if you want to let it go, you're welcome to. Breathe big, spacious, ujjayi breath. One last inhale. If you have your hands clasped, exhale, hands to your low back. Inhale, halfway lift. So fingertips on the ground, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your hands to the top of your mat, back to a low lunge. From low lunge, three-legged down dog. So sweep your left leg back and up. Open up your hip, bend your left knee. Squeeze your outer left butt cheek, flex your toes, press down through both hands. Take one more inhale, see if you can lift your left knee higher, open up, exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left to left, as high as you can get on your left arm. Inhale, three-legged, stretch it out. Now, exhale, three-legged plank. Modify if you want. Chaturanga, lower down to your belly. Baby cobra. Pause in your baby cobra this time, my friends. Float your hands up. Reach your hands back. Float your feet up. Reach your toes back. Hug in with your inner thighs. Option to interlace your fingers. And then use the leverage of your arms to lift a little higher. So really squeeze through your mid back. Inner thighs hug in, spread your toes, breathe down into your belly, back of your neck is long, take one last round. End of your exhale, let it go. Rest your head to either side. And just feel the ground underneath you. Feel the expansion of your belly against the ground. Nice work, friends. You windshield wiper your shins if you'd like. couple of breaths, mindful transition to downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, pigeon pose, right chin to the top of your mat, set your body down gently. So right knee is nice and wide, pull your right hip back, so you want to feel your femur bone, your right femur bone, plug into the hip socket. So we don't want to sink into our joints, we want to work those muscles around our joints. So keep pulling your right hip back and slightly up, try to spread through your front toes as you bow forward. Back toes can stay tucked under or untuck them. And keep your ankle nice and straight. Back of your left leg nice and long. And then breathe deeply. Soften with your exhales.
about three more breaths, you guys. You can exhale out your mouth anytime. Okay, this is a little bit of a funky transition, so listen here. We're going to lift our upper body, plant our hands, curl your back toes under, scoot your back knee forward. We're going to come into a three-legged tabletop, right leg extends back, give it a nice little shake out. And then from here, we're going to go straight into a modified side plank. So pivot on your left knee, left foot comes back behind you, right arm to the sky. Open it up, reach your right arm forward and stretch your right side body, lots and lots of length. Mm, feels so good. Stay here or final option, bend your right knee, reach back, grab hold of your right foot. Kick and pull. So imagine you're trying to rotate your heart to look up. Big, huge breath. Spread through your toes. Mm, end of your exhale. Slowly release. Let it go. Hands and knees. And then downward facing dog. Walk it out. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, pigeon pose softly. Left shin to the top of your mat, body to the ground. So left hip pulls back and up. Femur bone plugs into the socket. So you want to feel those muscles around your hip, not just sink into your hip joints. So keep pulling left hip back. Spread through your left toes, bow forward. Once you're bowing forward, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can work your back knee back a little bit further. And then big, spacious breaths. Take about three more breaths. Okay, slowly, mindfully rise up. We'll move into our three-legged tabletop first. So plant your hands, curl your back toes under, scoot your back knee in a little bit. Left leg back, give it a gentle shake out. And then pivot on your right knee. Right foot comes back like a little kickstand. Left arm reaches up. And then left arm reaches forward, so big, long side body stretch. Mm, pull your 
yourself in these opposite directions. One more inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. Kick and pull. See if you can turn your heart to look up at the sky. Spread through your left toes as you hold your foot in your hand. And then breathe one last huge breath. End of your exhale, let it go. Tabletop. One final down dog just to walk it out. Stretch it out. If you want one final vinyasa, now is your time. Take it. And then one last breath into your down dog. Set your knees on the ground, come into a seat, and then find your way onto your back. all the way down onto your back and then hug your knees in, gently rock side to side. Give your back a nice little massage against the ground for a moment. Set your uh, feet on the ground with your knees bent. Cross your left knee on top of your right knee. So knees are stacked like you would sit in a chair if you have a really short skirt on. And then reach your left arm out to the left. Scoot your hips over to the left just a bit. Roll over onto your right side. Keep your shoulders square towards the sky. Gaze up or let your gaze fall over your left shoulder, right hand to the outside of your left knee or thigh if you would like. And if having your knees crossed doesn't work for you here, no big deal, just uncross them. And breathe down into your belly all the way down. Exhale, bring your knees up, uncross them. Take a couple rounds of windshield wiper before shifting to the other side. So feet come out wide, move your knees side to side a couple times. And then when you're ready, right knee crosses on top of left knee, hips scoot over to the right side of your mat, right arm reaches out to the right, roll over onto your left side. Big Buddha belly breaths, just a little bit longer. And then I will leave it up to you. So when you feel pretty 
even on both sides with your twist, no hurry. Come back to center and again, take a couple rounds of windshield wipers with your knees. So make sure you've got your feet wide so that'll open up your low back. Let your knees fall from side to side. Eventually, no rush, happy baby pose. from happy baby explore a little bit rock around a little bit if there's any more poses you want to take to finish off your practice today then do so i'm going to leave you in your either shavasana or if you want to make your shavasana seated meditation please feel free and I'll read to you and then I'll let you go and you can stay in your Shavasana for as long as you'd like. So this is by Jeff Foster, of course, and it's called Underneath the Labels. We label everything and everyone, the plants, the animals, the stars, even our own intimate feelings. Sadness, we call it. Anger, fear, boredom, confusion. These are secondhand words picked up when we were young, but underneath the labels, prior to the abstract language, there is a profoundly alive mystery here, unspeakable, unable to be captured by thought. Without our mind-made descriptions of experience, do we really have any way of knowing what we are experiencing? Take away the label sadness, and what is alive here? Take away the description anger, and what is this raw, passionate energy we feel? Stop calling, it an emo Stop calling an emotion positive or negative, right or wrong, healthy or unhealthy, and what happens? Come back to the raw sensation of life, the present moment dance of the body, what is this unfiltered, dynamic, raw life energy? Can we touch life before the labels? This is the river of life, my friends. Sacred, intimate, familiar. And we are inseparable from its flow. Every thought, sensation, feeling, image is infused with the mystery of the universe. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your morning to practice with me. Stay in your Shavasana for as long as you would like. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Mwah. Love you guys.